Today's rainy weather didn't stop dozens of people from coming out to protest what they consider a threat to the local environment. It's another battle waging over petroleum products in our area. This time, the controversy surrounds tar sands. Keep your tar sands off our tracks. Pipelines leak. Trains crash. Demonstrators gathered outside the GMO terminal in Mobile today to protest tar sands tanker shipments. The group, Mobile Environmental Justice Action Coalition, is concerned about a recent proposal to build a petroleum storage and distribution facility on Mobile's waterfront. American Tank and Vessel withdrew its application to construct a facility in the Africatown community earlier this month. However, city officials say the company could reapply. Coalition member Kim McHouston says people on the Gulf Coast should be concerned about tar sands shipments in Mobile. Back of me is uh, trains containing uh, crude Canadian dilbit. And uh, this is basically very toxic, very hazardous, it's explosive, and this is not the kind of economy we want to see in Mobile. Joe Womack lives in Africatown. He's worried about the potential impact on the area if the facility were built. This is not right. Someone has decided to make Mobile, Alabama the capital of tar sand distribution and production throughout the world. They never ask us. This stuff is in our backyard. We don't want it. Coalition members say tar sands are already moved through several South Alabama cities. They believe a new depot near the GMO terminal would allow for a dramatic increase in the volume of tar sands coming through Mobile for export. It's being brought down here to be uh, transferred onto tanker uh, or t to uh, barges and tanker trucks to be shipped over to the Pascagoula refinery where they will ship it out. It's also going to Houston and that is for export to Asia and uh, China. So this isn't for us. Our gas prices are not going to go down. The coalition also says it's pleased with two recent court decisions against Plain Southcap, a company trying to build an oil pipeline through Mobile County.